funniest part about this week's episode of Naruto Shippuden is at the very beginning of the episode, Tsunade was claiming that Jiraiya's story is a really good read and she can't put the book down. She's being really nice because this story is continuing to suck. That's right, my friends, in this week's episode of Naruto Shippuden, the Infinite Tsukiyomi art continues, and it seems like it's going to continue well into December. They just released this schedule for all of the episodes, and it looks like we're going to have to suffer through another couple of these. What's really surprising about this episode, well, you know what, it's, it's not surprising. I actually should expect it at this point. There was barely any progression yet again. We don't learn anything about the masked man. We don't know anything about his identity. Neji is just going along with his plan because he has the Byakugan eyes. And the biggest progression from this episode is that Sasuke and Sakura fight against Sorcery. Everybody else is pretty much doing exactly what they've been doing for the last couple of episodes, which is stand around, do nothing, and try to find their friends. The good news is this episode is a little more believable, because at first it almost seems like Sasuke is actually going to stand a chance against Sorcery, but Sorcery actually ends up poisoning him with his giant stinger, and that's pretty much the end of that battle. Why doesn't Sorcery just kill these kids already? They're just standing around doing nothing. He could easily decapitate all of them with his giant stinger. Or he could poison them to death. Or he could fire shrapnel from all different directions. The point is, Sorcery should have no problem taking these people out. And I really didn't like the fact that he was just allowing Sakura to go over to Sasuke and start to help him out a little bit. Why isn't he still attacking? Why is he just waiting around for them to do something that could possibly stop his plan? Uh, Jiraiya's crappy storytelling logic is what it is. And speaking of Jiraiya, there are two scenes in this week which feature this character which I'm not sure where they're going with this, but at the beginning of the episode, he's walking into Orochimaru's hideout and he clearly finds what I believe is Orochimaru in someone else's body. And that's the end of that chapter. And then at the very end of the episode, Naruto, who supposedly is supposed to be the main character of this freaking story but doesn't really do anything, was knocked out by the masked man at the beginning of the episode and he's found by Jiraiya at the end, who had the time to change clothes, by the way, and used his weird inside the stomach of a toad ability to actually find Naruto, and that's pretty much it for Jiraiya this week. So what's the rundown on this week's episode of Naruto Shippuden? Skip it! Simple as that. Just skip the episode. There's really nothing to see here, folks. I mean, if you wanted to see a hypothetical battle between a younger version of Sasuke and Sorcery of the Akatsuki, it's here for you, but it's not really all that well animated. You get a few special attacks from the characters, Sasuke using his fireball jutsu, Sorcery just basically standing around and doing what he always does, which is using his tail to bat people around and stab them. It's just really nothing all that special. The whole story and subplot of the man in the mask who may or may not be Neji's father, I still think is probably the most interesting aspect of this entire special, but uh, still, they're just, they're not doing much with it. It's just more of the same, and I hate the fact that Neji's actually going along with this plan. It's very out of character for him. Outside of that, my favorite scene from this episode was probably watching Rock Lee faceplant into a tree where it left a cartoonish imprint of his body in said tree. Yep, you know when that's the only type of scene you look forward to seeing that this is probably not going to be a very good episode. And you know what? I don't even have a problem with the story. My problem is with the pacing. Almost nothing happens every single episode, and that's just the way it is. We're in Fillersville, people. Let's get used to it. So, this week's episode right here, I did like a little bit more than the last one, but still, it's nothing to write home about. The animation, the artwork is very average, and they're just not doing much with this story. So, this is a 2 out of 5. Check it out, Naruto fans. If you're just incredibly hardcore about Naruto, check out this episode. You might see something you like. But if you're not even interested in the fillers, which honestly will have no impact on the overall series altogether, you can just skip this episode. You're not really missing much. Thank you guys for watching this review. Make sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, stay dandy, baby!